are not prepared. Alrighty, welcome to another Dead Guide video, guys. This is gonna be the last video for 2021, so I'm gonna use this chance to wish you a Happy New Year and all the best to you as well. Thank you for being a part of the channel and all that you have done for me. You are awesome. In this video, I will give you a quick quest rogue guide, as well as some gameplay from the last coaching session, on which we reached Legend yet again. Quest rogue is an insanely powerful deck, and there's a lot of things you can learn about it too, and I'm honestly still learning as well. But yeah, it's definitely worth knowing how to play with and against it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Now let's check out the deck. This is what the deck looks like, and I do believe this is probably the best version of it too. I've already showed you this deck, and there's really nothing new in here too. We're still running the hero card scabs, which is really insane, and not only you can use this defensively so you can reset the opponent's board, but you can also do it as a way for you to shadow step some important stuff, like let's say Mistress Might, or the quest reward scabs, or maybe an assassin for some good removal in the future. Don't forget you also get a couple of 4-2s on the board as well, with stealth, and the hero power is just just absurdly good as well, which basically gives you 2 extra mana each turn. We are running Mistress Smite who works incredibly well with your Edwin, and also don't forget your prize plunderers are also freaking pirates. That cost us one game, not gonna lie. You don't have any other pirates in here despite looks and appearances. And also, with Edwin, things can go very huge. And with the Scabs Hero Pair, you can do this as soon as turn 8 for some good amount of damage, and the minimum is 10. There is actually a pretty next level interaction with Edwin. If you play Edwin and you shadow step him, you can actually keep on playing the cards Edwin is drawing you, and the buffs are gonna start stacking on Edwin, even though he is in your hand now. And this way, you can prepare a huge mistake just smite combo later on. I'm not sure why this interaction works the way it does, and I guess Edmund is a pretty specific battle cry, so that might be the reason why it actually gets buffed into your own hand. But make sure you shadow step him first before you start buffing him if that's what your game plan is gonna be, because if you buff him on the board and shadow step him last, he is gonna get reset. Which is not that bad in the end of the day, because you get a 2 mana Edwin, but yeah, it is kinda tricky. The other legendaries we have in here is Tenwu, which gives you basically an extra shadow step effect so you can complete your quest faster. You also have Scab Scutter Butter, who can be a pretty good combo card for you, and you can tempo out a lot with him. And that's about it for the legendaries. They're pretty cool and they work wonderfully in the deck, but if you don't have some of those, you can probably play the deck without them too. The only really essential legendary here is obviously the quest. The shadow steps we're running in here are mainly so you can complete your quest faster, and you can even do it just on an SI7 Skulker so you can get a 0 mana SI7 again, which is pretty good. But let's not forget you can also use it for Mistress Might, or for Edwin, or even for an SI Assassin so you can assassinate better. We have a couple of prize plunderers so you can have some good removal. We have the Blackwater Cutlass, which is not only 4 damage on a stick, but you can also use it to cheat out some spells for you too. It's a wonderful way for you to get a 0 mana Secret Passage or a 1 mana Swindle, but be careful using the tradable effect on it if you already have a Shadow Step or a coin in hand, because the discount can actually land on those and that feels a little bit dumb. We have Extortion, which you can use on undamaged opponents or even on your own characters as well, and sometimes that would be the correct play just so you can advance your quest progression a little bit further. We have Foxy Fraud so you can have an easier time comboing your agent, or your scabs, or also your assassin. And in the end of the day you can just use it so you can get a 0 mana swindle too, which also works well. We have the SI7 operative, which is a wonderful way for you to keep on trading while getting the stealth. And you can do that, stealth it, attack face next turn and shadow step it and do it all over again. And board centric decks really hate that. Like I said with Edwin you can do some huge stuff. And it's kinda good for you to use Edwin maybe around turn 6, but don't be afraid to actually curve into him, against faster matchups especially, cause in the end of the day it's a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, and it draws you a card, like what more do you need? SI7 informant can actually grow pretty big, and you can also use her for some big boy damage too, and even have some lethal outs, if you use it with a battleground battlemaster. She's usually a finisher, but in some matchups you can just tempo her out, and just do as much damage as you can, or do some favorable trades. A cool way for you to actually abuse the Battleground Battlemaster's effect to the fullest is if you have a white board and you want to be going face but also trading the opponent's board, you can go face once with the minion and then trade into something that kills it and that way you get a Wind Fury on the next minion. But obviously that's a little bit of a niche situation. With Mistress Might, like we said, we love doing it as a finisher, but you can also do it for some chip damage if the matchup warrants it. We talked about scabs as well as SI Assassin. About the quest rewards you get throughout completing the SI steps, as well as the ones you get from scabs himself, there are some things you might want to consider. 
For instance, fizzle is a pretty cool way for you to actually remove something big, like let's say a Rakara, if you don't actually plan on the game lasting more than two turns, so you don't actually get a second cannon against you. It's obviously a great way for you to remove some taunts, and it also breaks buffs for paladins, which is pretty cool too. With the hidden gyroblade, you can do a lot of stuff, and not only do you get to trade with your face, but also the death rattle is pretty strong, because you get to deal free damage to something on the board as well. Noggin Fog is obviously best used for you to get stealth on a big scabs or even a big SI informant or an Edwin. But did you also know you can use this on the opponent's taunt and that way that taunt doesn't exist for you anymore? That is a pretty good way for you to cheat out some games and you can actually get some pretty crazy lethals that way too. Spyomatic is another very good card with which you basically guarantee that the opponent is not gonna get lucky off the top deck. And that can be pretty insane, especially if the opponent is low on cards. And obviously the worst card out of the bunch is the goddamn Undercover Mole, which is basically a card that gives you some fun random BS, but it's not really something you wanna be seeing. In the end of the day, it's a cool stealth minion, so it's not that bad, but obviously compared to everything else, it's just the worst. For the matchups, Face Hunter is actually pretty bad, although we had a pretty good time against those. Mazaki OTK Mage is not gonna be too hot for you. Agro Elemental Shaman and actually Poison Rogue is disgusting for you. But that's about it. Everything else is 50 or very good, including Paladins, which is something you probably will be seeing quite a lot. Warriors are also pretty decent, and same goes for Fief Rogues. So all in all, you should be good against most popular matchups. For the Mulligan, when going first, you want your good SI cards, basically. Foxy Fraud is also not the worst thing to keep, but make sure to actually keep it with something you want to be comboing, because in the other case, it's just a goddamn useless raptor. Honestly, I would not be keeping Swindle unless I have a Foxy Fraud to go with it too. When going first, I'm not sure Secret Passage is that great of an idea, and same goes for Tenwu and the more expensive SI cards as well. When going second, you can even keep the hero card scabs, and even Assassin becomes a lot more keepable, but I would not be keeping this unless I already have two other good SI7 cards. SI7 Informant is is also kinda decent if you're curving into it, and even Secret Passage becomes a lot more keepable. Swindle is a little bit more acceptable as well in my case. And if you already have a pretty good hand, you might consider even keeping Scab's Cutter Butter, but he's a little bit iffy, even though it could be a very insane turn free for you. Other than that, the rest are probably a bait. All in all, the deck is not too cheap, but like I told you, only Find the Imposter is the crucial card for you to be crafting here, and you can try the deck without the other legendaries and see how you like it. The deck feels pretty strong, but I don't believe it's gonna get nerfed anytime soon, so you're probably safe to abuse this deck for the next 4 months. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the guide, don't forget you can hire me for some Hearthstone coaching, now let's check out the games. Enjoy! Uh, uh, I mean, I can okay. keep the whole thing here, honestly. You can, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Informant is a bit, a little bit iffy, but in the end of the day, can't say no to SI when you're curving like that. Yes, quest. Yep. Not rogue. Not rogue. Mm -hmm. yeah, Where were you? Just my we were begging for. I saw you in the beginning of the game. Why don't you come back? Yeah. He took his sweet time. Would have been awesome if Edwin brought. Mr. Smite back, like, they literally took a walk together. Okay, let's, uh, consider. Never playing. I mean, if we don't do shit, it's kinda real shit. I think you do coin operative here. Yep. Yeah, whip it out. I have to. It's not the best thing in the world to do, but it's not the worst thing either. Quest burger shot in the day. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna have the best turn free if we don't top deck a good combo card like a Swindle or something, but. Okay, here's what it is. Shadow Step would be lovely. Then we Would be acceptable. This is not the worst thing in the world. Well, that's actually pretty neat. Um, extortion the free force, see the quest reward. Mole or mole? It's a mole. Oh, show. Sure. It's more <laughs> for fuck's sake, brother. Anyway, horse trades and put down a skulker. Jesus. Maybe Mole's OP. Maybe the game's just trying to yeah. tell us Mole is like just broken, bro. The Mole's the imposter. He's venting, bro. Look, he's venting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe the Mole's name is Air, so he can tell people like that's what Air's supposed to do, vent. 
<laughs> I just saw air pass through the vents. I mean, I'm air, bro. What do you mean? Or man, <laughs> always play right. Okay, this is not uh, super bad. We could consider. Hmm. It does give us an extra card as well, yeah. and if that's the weapon, that'd be pretty neat. But even then, it's gonna be kind of iffy. I don't know, just slap the informant Armament. on the left side. Yeah. And chill. Get your second mole. Okay, yeah, well, would have been an interesting play, but it's it's fine, just chill. We're still pretty happy with this board state, unless he literally rancors, in that case, fuck this guy in particular. And the guy before him. <laughs> Cutting class? Uh, it used to be a card in this deck, I'm assuming he's also running the tradable weapon. And now he might trade it. Shit. Okay. I'm okay with that. Not Stepping Skullcourt here wouldn't have been a bad play by any means, but it wouldn't have really progressed as much. Okay... Right now we can actually complete the quest and play yeah. the quest. Like, is that what we do now? This 5 free survives. I think you do, man. No, okay. actually... I mean, it has to be twice on the Skulker, so go face with the twice. Skulker. Yeah. Shadow Step Skulker, play yeah, Skulker. We commit. And whip out the big boy in the middle. <laughs> he slipped me off. He's... Does the horse just go face? It's kind of the question, <laughs> but. Yes, it does. We okay. do, we do. That went well. Because he could just pop it anyway. Damn, bro, he's like, he's flipping off chat. Okay, oh. not another rancor, bro. Okay, the hatchet. Oh, for fun's Man, sake. the well, cannons. This is a 2 2 survived. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Going face was the play. Mm hmm. So, uh, gotta make some room. Um, equip a hidden weapon into a swindle. Looking for some assassin action. That ain't it. Scabs is kinda cute though. Uh, is he kinda cute? All of our cards are kinda one mana right now. Put down Foxy Fraud into Scabs. Into a uh, Spyomatic on the left side. Yeah. Ooh, for hmm. fuck's sake, how many do you have, bro? Give him another Sword Eater, I guess. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. Um. Go face with the weapon, equip another weapon. The weapon? Hell yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Mold. And put no. down air. <laughs> and go uh, face with the 2-1. Yeah. yeah, here you kind of want to stack your big attack minions next to each other and the small ones yeah. uh, further away. We're not assuming this guy has the cleave weapons, so fuck that shit. Right now he's not going to be very happy about using a sword eater over his 2-3 hatchet. I mean, he still could do it. It's just not going to be that amazing for him. Nah, uh, fuck the hero power, Yuki. We have better better things to do. We're not playing around to stick for too long here, so... We do have Mr. Smitey and whatnot. Let's see where them two damages shot. Come on, Mole, at least take the fucking two shots. Okay, good enough. Yes, whatever. Get through me. I'll take three damages, please. I'll get zero, technically. Oh, boy! <laughs> I mean, is it really that good? We could still fix his top deck. 
He gets uh, Juggernaut anyway. We still are gonna connect for some damage first, that's for sure. But we do give him a... I mean, he's gonna complete the quest next turn always. Yeah. Um, bam, bam, bam. Pipis. Okay, so the 2-1 in your face trade the 2-5, I think. Yeah. Don't ask me why I'm low. Go face with the rest. How do we draw? Uh, let's think a little more. Yeah. Let's think a little more. Is it really that amazing of a play right now, bro? You know what? Play fucking Mistress Smite in the middle. Go face with it and give it stealth after that. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, that's, that's not. <laughs> Imagine if that actually worked on your shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that a one mana shadow step? That's crazy. Oh, for sure. One mana shadow step can't play up next turn, bro. <laughs> Worth. He can wait. He can wait. He's patience. Okay. The thing about Juggernaut is it's not really an immediate threat. It always takes one turn. What is he even digging for? Yeah. Digging for the sport. He's still getting uh, three more armor, five more armor now, so it's a lot. Yeah. I'm down a slap face and scabs. I mean, if we do that, how does he get back into this? There is things to consider here, honestly. We, we, uh, yeah, we have secret, we have fizz. I don't think we need the scabs. If we scabs think, though, we, we never to. died to Mr. Smite. Yeah. Hmm. Destroyed. <sighs> what if there's a line where we do prize plunder to set it up, to, right? And then we. <laughs> um. Actually, we can because we hit with weapon, and then it cleans it. Not really, we, we don't have damage right now. Haven't played shit yet. Oof. At this point, 8-5 uh, goes face, plays caps. Yeah. Hero power, and played a uh, one mana mole. And go face with the weapon. Boom, boom. Oh, I meant the other way around, but sure. <laughs> That's Jumba. Yeah, we're not gonna accomplish anything anyway. Yeah. Fuck it. Secret passage on zero. We could have also fished for lethal there. Like, we could have uh, fished for the Battleground Battlemaster, but no reason to risk it, chat. This way, you never risk it this way. Like, seriously. Just the four twos alone, and we have a Mistress Smite in hand. So, that turn, yep. we shouldn't have really thought about it that long, but. I really wanted to th think about all the potentials and how to minimize the bullshittery. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you were going second against certain classes, scabs would have been a key, by the way. Hey, scabs, I don't know. Okay, quest cool. Demon Hunter. I remember, I remember, <laughs> we were doing coaching and went off on a tangent how OP I thought Demon Hunter was. And then it just mm. turned into this whole arc of just, I was we, we say, built Demon Hunter be... deck and we just went easy legend. It, just, it was just meta for so long. Yeah, wow, this guy is actually, this was actually a smart play. This gives him all of those different cards, top deck, and now he could even have a fucking dramatic null if he got lucky. I did not think that would work that well for him. Right now, next turn, he's probably gonna have a zero mana, four, five, or maybe even two. That's gonna be a real dick. Um, I copy now. <laughs> yeah. um, I think it's just the hero power because I'm scared of the future this guy holds. Hero power, power pass, pass yeah. and next turn, we're gonna probably have to deal with some uh, gnolls like why would you do that if you don't have a gnoll already? Try to get lucky and get gnolls off the top? I don't know, man. Okay. Please let it hit the coin. That'd be so sick. There's the gnoll. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh. 
I guess you just extortion it and play the Skulker. Yeah, that's our only play. I mean, swindle isn't good. Could have been a Swindle, but I think this is fine. What are we fishing for though? Mm -hmm. Would be kind of dumb if he shadow steps it, but if that's how he wants to use his shadow steps, so be it. Chill. So. Yeah. Dude, why would you ever choose? This guy has the one I have. Why would you ever choose this one over? <laughs> okay. I mean, everybody has a different taste, you know, in this day and age. <laughs> the battle pass, not battle pass. The, the like, the only point of like paying for like the the map journey, whatever whatever it is, is just cosmetics, right? I mean, experience get, like... as well. It gives you a shit ton of experience. Yeah, that could be cute, Rogue, and re indeed. Could give him a hella big Edwin. Anyway, um... I think we could do this. I mean, I... This is a really dumb line where we could like... No, it kinda is, it's... but it's not the dumbest thing in the world. Um... Sure, give the stealth to the 2-2. Two -two. Yep. Into Swindle. Top deck the Price Plunderer on the 4-2 now. Yeah. Do we save the 4-2 a little? Like, how can he ping it through the stealth? I don't think he can. I think he just chill with the 4-2. We're not gonna yeah. win through chip damage, we're gonna win through dominating the board, so just chill. Yep. Getting Mistress Smite down to 5 might be cool in the end of the day. Yeah, it's very nice. There's that cute action going. Wait, what? Yeah, they run He's that just... shit for uh, bigger Edwins. You have top deck zero mana cards from Edwin and shit gets the fan real fucking fast. That's true. Okay, can't combo it like this, so I think you just go with Secret Passage. Doesn't matter which one. Yeah. Do it! Okay. I figure out which one's luckier. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, one you actually oh. managed to play in time. Okay, that's pretty awesome because you get the shadow step a lot. So, um, as I, uh, are we gonna SI the free free twice? We can. Technically, we could even uh, shadow step the skulker at the end, but nah. So, as I the free free twice. Yeah. And shadow step it a second time so we get it back for the next hand. Your face kills the 2 1. You can this quest get out of my way. I'm not sure we do anything with the 4 2 again, though. Chill. Okay, finally a good shit. I think that's all. You chill yep. with the guy. This is really nice. Yeah. That's the thing I love about the quest, reactive. it gives you combo pieces. Yeah. Nice and cheap. Just like the, the rogue class. Okay. How cute. I'm not sure why he's giving us these uh, to uh, kill off. He should be using them for the merchant, honestly. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, Face trade a 1-1. One, one. Equip the hidden gyro blade, the left weapon. Mm. Fuck it, use use scabs, four mana scabs. Zero mana kills the one one. Uh, no 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 face 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 face. Face with it. Uh, let's tradable the Blackwater Cutlass. Tradable it. Yeah, Cute. that's pretty good. Uh, Price Plunderer the 1-1 one, one and... Save it again. <laughs> uh, save okay. the 4-2 again. Could consider yep. some stupid stuff. We could look for I don't know, time. maybe we save this 4-2 for too long. But then again, if he does make a big Edwin, we have a good way of chopping it down a peg. I haven't seen prep in a while. No, I do love this card. The band or the prep? Bruh. 
fine. This is fine. Right, 26 damage. Okay, we can almost finish the quest. I mean, if you get lucky with Secret Passage into Extortion, you do finish the quest. We do have a shit ton of damage. We have 20 damage right now. But, um, uh, not sure where that... You know what? Plata wins Fury between the 4-2 and the 3-3. Yeah. Kind of SI Agent Trey uh, SI Agent goes face once and kills a yeah. free free. Scabs goes face once and kills a free free. And uh triple face, I think. This 5-5 five five somehow survives, we can even uh, Mr. Smite, but we'll see. Right now, Mr. Smite is lethal with your weapon, so... I mean, he does have some minimal healing there, but... He <laughs> should be fine. Okay. Imagine top decking that shit right fucking now, he can't even fizzle it. I want to get one tree. Yeah. He's digging for a way to kill this 5-5. Five five. Milkarogue is the only reason I know about that, like, um, Shadow Step thing. Because that's when you did, like, that pen flip, the, the fling guy. Mm, it took me actually quite a while to figure that one out. The pen flinger combo is actually kind of different, isn't it? Can't remember, maybe it wasn't. Could you permachain that pen flinger combo, by the way? I think it broke every time you finish it, you have to wait for some shit to happen, right? Oh, he can't kill yeah. it. Poor bastard. Poor baby. Well, Mr. Smite saves the day. Alrighty, be right back. Welcome to the stream, yep. Keitanya. Keitanya. Be right back, yo. Happy okay, Feast of Winter Vale. Well, uh, Alright, Scabs, get the fuck on my face. And you too, yeah. Battlemaster. Yeah, just the imposture. Passage could make some sense Maybe. in this case, honestly. Maybe you keep Wait, the secret passage I'm here. Passage, yeah. Going second against the warlock, we're probably gonna run out of gas pretty fast. It's another hard oh. matchup, by the way, and this is doable. Sad news is he doesn't give us uh, shit to uh, get undamaged because next turn hero powers most probably. But yeah, just do that. Alright, Skulker, please. You. Uh, you can add uh, Viper Yuki. Okay, what should we fucking do here? <clears throat> do we just coin out a horse? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Tempo. This feels giga bad. Yeah, we're gonna do that though. Maybe it was just a hero power. That is what it is. You could slap in a Viper in there, Yuki. What else? I don't know what else. Ah. <laughs> I'm an Asian. Or what? Well, you can Foxy Fraud SI. Yeah. I think you were thinking of doing something pretty bad, weren't you? No, no, play that, play that side. Yeah, yeah, I was just moving positioning. It doesn't matter against these guys. Good practice, yeah. alright? The high health in the middle? True. That's interesting ish. Mm -hmm. It's like cheaped out rush cards are so annoying. Mm hmm. Hmm. And. Sucks. Wish he left us with an SI card. Yeah. I think he passage. Ray. Okay, we got some decent stuff. Not too decent though. Tradable the 
uh, SI your face. Yeah, tradable after. Tradable after, after yeah. Oh no. We thought I, back I, to another spell. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is this now? Trade? I mean, not even sure. Yeah, trade it, I think. Just so bad. Yeah, safest. Still addicted to mercs? Not anymore. I don't have any reason to play mercs anymore. Everything maxed out. Oh, tasks done. What the fuck am I supposed to do in mercs anymore? Like, don't do shit for me. It ain't doing shit, brother. Fuck's sake. Hey, look at that. Mr. Smile was your kind of win condition. Have fun without it. Samson, Rome, and Solren were big burns for him as well, but ours were bigger. I have a feeling ours were a little bit bigger. Rise Assassin? I mean, you could waste the SI7 on the 5 4 and then assassin it. Makes it cheaper. Maybe we're gonna get the weapon and play it. So SI the 5 4 into Assassin the 5 4. I could just wait. Yeah, let's see what that shit is, but we kind of wanna be using the Assassin, don't we? Yeah, 100%. Okay, we can fix his top deck as well, and we're probably shadow stepping that assassin. Oh, too bad. Uh, Give him a. Pelt? I mean, Kotnio fight could be somewhat wonky for us. He could yeah. do it on a turn where we played a quest and the stealth gets two mana. Give him the um, tour guide. Fuck him with the tour yeah. guide. But. Yeah, I think you do Shadow Step. Feels so bad though. Soul. Zero mana, ass ass man. Mon. Assassin is literally spelled ass ass in. Wow. Yep. Imagine being on the in school and having to spell that shit. Okay, that's kind of decent. Do we care about a big Edwin or do we care about playing scabs right now? I don't know. Six cards in hand. Is let our move either way. Well, we need worry to play something right. as well to combo this shit. If we start off with yeah. the prize plunder, we get to assassin the eight eight. I think but price... we're not going to be able to stealth our shit. Ugh. Let's go with yeah. Edwin for now. Edwin. Bullshit. Do we ever shadow step him? Assassin the 8-8. Yeah. We don't have smite, so he's one of our main win cons. So I think we kind of have to, you know? Sure, Shadow Step Edwin for better days. And, uh. Maybe you price plunder the 2 1 just so we can make some more space. Yeah. Hero Powering felt die, but. Kind of doing it for the space. Until when am I live? I don't know. How long are we gonna be live, Mel? Until we hit Legend? That might take a while. <laughs> Just saying. What do we do? Yep, shocking. Okay. What is that shit we talked about? That's annoying. Mm. I think you still play scabs and fizzle his 6 6. And you trade the 2 1. Oh, the 3 2. Yeah. No, don't show him that. Well, you already did. Just do it. You already showed it. Because if he's... If he paid attention, he wouldn't know you have another fizzle right now. Now he knows. Because you basically targeted with the the thing. That's yeah. the only thing you can target with. Give him price plunder, you know? For fuck's sake, both of them. How the fuck are we even supposed to win this anymore? No. Um, so 
already at max health, so it doesn't matter as much. How far is he on the quest? It's gonna take him a few. I think we need to make some room. Let's spy Omatic. Give him... A Viper? I don't even know. Maybe the Viper, sure. Uh... Tradable I'm just the weapon. Tradable the weapon. Where is it? Where is the it? tradable weapon. Yeah. Yeah. So many cards in my hand. Okay. Played a one mana hidden gyre. Yes, one mana weapon. Go face with it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> put down the horse. Price plunderer the free free after that. Put down the one mana undercover mole. That's about it. I'm just thinking at this point, I have to go for an Edwin and then make him big and then... Yeah, that's why we're trying to make some room so we can actually have room for the ship yeah. we're not decking. And then one Furium. Perhaps. Uh, that's a long shot, honestly. It is, but at this point, what else we gotta do? Holy shit. And now you're gonna instantly top deck scabs out of it, aren't you? If we get scabs before we play Edwin, that's gonna be pretty neat. Mm hmm. Ten more to go. Fuck. Well, let's pretend we're gonna get an assassin. Go. Scabs. Go! Okay. Play that shit. Next to the 4 4, yes. Play that shit. Yeah, do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a second. Weapon goes into the 6-6. Six, 6-6, six. Six, six, yeah. Do it. Now equip the weapon. Good. Ish. Oh, oh assassin the 6-3. Biomatic the 3. 3 2 kills the 6 3. 2 3, two, three kills the two trades one. the 2 1, yes. And gives stealth to Edwin. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Can yeah. we do it? Is it humanly possible? Scab's bottom card. Blessing in disguise. Oh, my lord. Are we gonna have the out. greatness? Don't have lethal and don't have the out. Oh shit. Think we win. Think we win, brother. He doesn't have any more taunts. Hey, congrats, Trim. You did it. Oh. Oh my god. Get me out. Doesn't matter. Rush. It doesn't have rush, so. Just go, bro. Just hurry up. <laughs> Just end your turn, please. Thank you. Come on, bro. Bottom right it. Do it, you pussy. Come on, boy. If he kills both of the other minions, we still have enough, right? Like, we have 30. We, we're it? actually literally one off lethal if he kills everything here. Got him good. Boom, motherfucker. Jesus. Jesus. Damn, son. And they said it couldn't be done. Uh, holding on to the legendaries that makes sense for them to get this, uh, get nerfed. Like, Mr. Smite, I do assume it's gonna become even more broken soon. Mm. Uh, that's a good card to keep invested in, let's say. Uh, other legendaries, uh, Caro Rome, for instance, the Libram Paladin, uh, the Paladin yeah. hero card, that makes sense yeah. to get nerfed. Scabs makes Actually. a lot of sense to get nerfed, so those are cards that are gonna give you return on investment for keeping them soon. Okay, I think the game is passage? still sad about us. Uh, I think the game still doesn't like us much. Passage, it could actually okay. help us curve out with a crappy hand like this. Are we gonna be happy if we just have the passage though? 
I don't know, man. I think you dump it. Yeah, I think so too. Higher chance of drawing something good. Like, if we had at least one more playable card, sure, but I don't know, bruh. Oh my fucking yeah. god. Yeah, the game still hates you. Okay, I mean, okay, worst comes to worst, turn two play. Yeah. He kept up for the mulligan, too. It's probably a doggy shit. Can adorable infestation? Doggy biscuit is the new adorable infestation. He can still have adorable infestation, though. But doggy biscuit is so much better for him right now. What does it do? It's like it's a tradable one, right? Two plus two plus three on a minion. Huh? Yeah. What? There's also the battling ram that gives you. Uh, Plus two, plus two, immune while attacking. Death Rattle have a two, two, immune while attacking. Lol. Okay, coin the coin first one into the guy. free two, obviously. I'll deck it though. The... Yeah. And next turn, uh, wait a second, wait a second. Are we ever considering a shadow step here? Because uh, next turn we might not have a combo activation if he kills this shit. Oof. I mean, even if we shadow step it, we're still gonna have a pretty wonky turn, don't we? Yeah. I think you just chill, let him soak some damage into that shit. Yeah. Let's pretend we're gonna top deck decent. The verdict of Hunter's attention is... Technically, Hunter next turn, the play could be, could be Ten Wu, Price Plunderer, Shadow Step, Price Plunderer. Okay, that's three damage, not in the mouth. He didn't hero power as well, so he is losing resources. It's only for the turn? Your next hero power does two. No, it, okay. it's just the next one, but he's losing resources in the form of he did not hero power in order to do that shit. So he he basically skipped two damage forever, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, 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 true. Um, plunderer, Tenwu, Plunderer, kill the taunt? No, I think it's Tenwu, then you Plunderer, so you can at least kill a 1 1 in the process. So Tenwu, Plunderer, the 1 1, Shadow Step, Plunderer, the 2 2. Oh, yeah. I kind of wanted. Yeah, I was being greedy. Mm, I mean, no, you weren't. <laughs> you weren't doing anything like that. Like, because I wanted you... to keep the shadow stuff for my SIs. I mean, but... yeah, but you wouldn't have been able to kill anything because uh, Price Plunder would have been one mana. Yep. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Right now, if he has the the free four. He could make this into a free two. That is why you prioritize killing Wolper Tinkers if there's just one ones on the board, like uh, Cubs or Hyenas or shit like that. But he's never okay. gonna pick this for Wolper. Apparently, he doesn't even have it. Is that Wound Prey or another aim shot? Oh, quick shot. That kind of leans me to thinking that he has a Rhino in hand right now. I think his number four card he top decked right now is a Rhino. Okay. Well. Four mana. Sadly, four mana. We could have uh, gone and see what we get out of the weapon, but what's a mole gonna do for you? Okay. Out of the quest reward, I mean. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Next turn, you get the combo. It. He might have a uh, battling ram right now. Told you it's a fucking rhino. <laughs> you did tell me. I was there, chat. It did indeed okay. tell me. Okay, sadly, we're not gonna be able to kill everything, and apparently, we're not. We're just gonna spy Omatic and then kill the 5 1 with the free drop. Give him, there's that doggy shit that I talked about. Give him Intrepid and Initiate. Right now, yeah. he might even not have a spell for that shit. After you trade this, give a friendly minion rush? What the fuck? Yeah, but it can actually land on a minion that can already attack, so it's kind of wonky in that manner. Uh, yeah. But it's still a pretty fucking OP card. Like, the buff alone is worth it. And it's <laughs> also tradable, and it gives no. the rush. Like, say less, fam. And yeah, SI7 SI. to 5 1. Yes, buddy. Oh, boy. I like how the animation went through the trog as well. Like, keep him, keep him at its toes. <laughs> Told you he doesn't have a spell. <laughs> Easy. Enjoy that one mana, one to do nothing, brother. Okay, so. First things first, you gotta get rid of that Troggy boy. Make it with the. Free two? Maybe the free free. Yeah. Uh, then. Foxy into a Swindalian. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Boy. Oh, lordy. Say it ain't so, brother. Uh, are we gonna see a quest reward? Of course we are. So, uh, first... Extortion 2-1? Extortion to 2-1, yes. And then we wait. And then we play the waiting game. Give us another robot, bro. See what where that takes us. Mo. <laughs> no mo. Uh, nice. There you That's go, the robot game. him. Bot him, dude. Let me, let me see those cards. Oh <laughs> boy, give him that adorable <laughs> infestation was the pick there. Literally, yeah. turn, do nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Really the Final best. boot, boys. Let's go. Hype. Let's hype it up, fam. How much was Sylvanas again? 1600 gold? What? Sylvanas was like 1600 gold? 18. 18. 18. Yeah. That, that's how they get you. I'll probably still get it. I really, I actually really like that hero part. That's what? one of the few ones I really, really like. I, I kind of hate the voice, honestly. Like, I she don't even sounds, know the voice lines. She sounds abused. Okay, another Warlock, your no favorite comment. matchup. <laughs> I retract my statement. But yeah, him not hero pairing all this time, that's just sus as fuck. Yeah, I think this guy gave you the win, bro. Enjoy. Well, emote, thanks, and GG. Well, there's your what? legend, brother. There's right. your legend, brother. <laughs> all in the day's work. <laughs> coach, coach diff. <laughs> Mind control, two of them to FF. Oh, shell. That's shell. Well, that was good. That was good. Happy, happy we managed to make it uh, done. Five hours for uh, five ranks. That's 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 a good rate. That's a good rate for doing it. Yeah, and what legend do we get? 11779. 11, so, no, that's something, that's something.